Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to see that in K-min clustering by using the Azure Machine Learning, how can we select the optimal number of clusters? I uh, assume that you would be familiar with the K-min clustering. K-min clustering is a very well-known clustering algorithm, and it is very straightforward and simple as well, and widely used in clustering unsupervised learning modeling so here i'm uh, showing you the github repository and uh, in that repository there is a csv file this is basically a uh, generated random numbers with some clusters so i will provide the link of this repository uh, in the description of this video as well as you can see the python script in the same repository so to do this tutorial you can download this sample csv file from here i have already downloaded this csv file and uh, here i'm going to create um, an experiment in azure machine learning so i'm going to create a blank, blank experiment and uh, let me import the sample file uh, indeed i have already uploaded the sample file so what you can do you have to download this sample file to your local drive and then you can go to this data set and here you have the option to upload the file from your local disk so i have i have done this procedure so that's why this file is available here so therefore i can directly go to the blank experiment and here i can see my sample data set just drag and drop the sample data set here and make it at top so what i'm going to do first i will plot uh, the data inside that first uh, to see the visually that what is uh, the structure of, of points and how many clusters are there and then will move forward so you can see there are two variables x and y and these two are both are the numeric variables there are 500 rows okay uh, to see the python plot first import the python script component here and go to the repository of github and here you will find all these python script this is fairly simple script and in this script i'm using um scikit-learn k-min clustering and i'm also using the matplot uh, lib library so uh, the scikit uh, clustering k-min clustering algorithm will perform clustering and here i have hard coded uh, five and number of clusters because i already know that there are five clusters so that's why i have hard coded this number but what will happen if i don't know the number of clusters uh, before the training so this is the whole idea of this tutorial that how can we find this number okay uh, just copy i copied the all script from there and here paste it no, control v i have pasted it okay so now i will link this script with this data set and will run it to save the time i will pause here okay the script execution has been completed okay um, script execution has been finished now we can see the result here we will see the result which is showing the uh, number of centroids and the actual values of centroids so this is basically uh, the first centroid x and y value this is the second centroids x and y value and third fourth and fifth one um, and we can also see visually the scatter plot and see these are the 
values of uh, x and y plotted here so you can see clearly this is a cluster 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 and we have five cluster and these red circles are showing the uh, centroid or cluster mean plotted that was calculated by using the scikit-learn library so here we can see their scikit-learn scikit almost perfectly predicted uh, the centroids and uh, this is clearly visible so now if i want to run the k-means clustering in azure machine learning then what is the scenario okay so for this i will track the component of k -means clustering this is the training model and if you can uh, if you want to want to see uh, if you want to read more about on k -means clustering you can click on more help and it will let you to the msdm documentation and you can read more about all these parameters in depth and details with some examples as well uh, okay so this is the classifier and for k-min clustering here, here is we have clustering model or this will train this model so this takes untrained model and this is basically untrained model connected with this this takes data set this is the data set i am not using the python basically the output of python is not being used here i will just track this data set here this red uh, alert is asking to provide the columns based on which clustering will be performed so i will click on launch column selector and select these two x and y okay okay so to see the result i will i will select this assign assign data to cluster and this takes trained model the output of this will be a trained model connect this and this will take the data set i will use the same training data set so once this model will be completed it will assign the cluster to each x and y pair okay i'm going to run this and again pause this video to save it okay process has been completed and these green ticks are showing and this finish running okay so i i want to see the result uh, the result will be available from here of the trained model if i click here i can see that it has trained only two clusters or say it has calculated only two centroids why this is because this two was fixed here okay uh, it is up to me if i set it to three or four or something like that by default it is two if i will set it even 10 it will it will create 10 clusters out of this data however we know that there are five actual clusters so this number is not known the number of centroids is not known okay our main uh, objective is to find this number so to achieve this what we can do here we can drag and drop this sweep clustering to the canvas and this sweep clustering will perform all this for us uh, so to achieve this first i will click on the came in clustering and here i will select the parameter range in parameter range it is two three four five oh and we know that there are in actual five so let's see uh, we can provide the range like two to ten or two to twenty or something like uh, 10 to 100 or whatever you like so the idea is to find out the optimal number of centroids so i will start with a range of 2 to 4 although i know that there are five actual clusters so let's see what it uh, it will do uh, okay so it takes untrained model and untrained model will come from here this is basically uh, came in clustering untrained model and this will take the data set i will take the data set from here to this and again it is asking for the columns to be selected i will select x and y for 
this as well okay so this is now this there is a time to run this model and before that I can again uh, drag the assigned data to clusters and and this takes the train model and this will output the best train model provided to this and this takes data set to assign and I have selected all this okay I will run it again and we'll pause the video okay so process has been finished uh, let's see the results it will provide the result in these two terminals and here we can see the required result we are trying to see I provided this up to uh, 2 to 4 so I can see this is 1 2 3 4 5 there are five different rows and the number of centroids so here these component right two number of centroids and found the cluster matrix or the accuracy matrix of this number 0.76 while with two this number two this number three and while for the four this was 0.82 so the highest number was uh, of the matrix was with four number of four clusters and that's why if i click here to visualize the result it will show us the assigned clusters these are the x and y values and for this sphere this belongs to cluster number three and so there are four clusters most of the values are 200 elements are inside this first cluster second cluster third and fourth and we can also see the cluster uh, distance from the cluster of this pair this is and this is for cluster number basically zero or you can say the first cluster and this is the second cluster third cluster and fourth cluster so what is the idea uh, I manually provided uh, to this the highest range for here I will doubt that it has opted the highest number of cluster what I provided so I will see that if I provide it uh, let's see the 10 what will happen so it will it will move around 2 to 10 and we'll see which one is better uh, better in term of the matrix which matrix the matrix is defined here um, this one uh, for this fifth cluster yeah here's the matrix based on which it is calculating the accuracy is right now selected this one simplified it's allowed you can select the different uh, matrix to calculate the dif differences and based on that it will select the best or optimal number of clusters so i will run it again okay so process has been completed for this one and come to here so we can see uh, the best number of centroids with the 0.87 value is 5 and it tried uh, six clusters or six centroids, seven centroids, nine ten centroids, and up to ten centroids because we limited up to ten. Whatever we will provide, it will go and try. Okay, so here if we go to see the results, you can see the actual assignments. So this was initially assigned with three, now it's assigned the cluster number two and we can see the first cluster here second cluster third fourth and and fifth one so although i provided a range between two to ten but it automatically selected best model and the best number of clusters or say the optimal number of clusters which was the five so this is uh, the result is basically based on the optimal 
number of centroids and this is a cool visualization to see the clusters and their combination based on the principal component okay so thank you for watching this tutorial